What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of Darkest Before Dawn, the prelude. King Push by Pusha T himself, who often refers to himself as King Push, and rightfully so a lot of the time because he seems to be at the top of his game, especially with this new teaser LP in a sense, pushing towards a bigger project, King Push, that's coming out in 2016. If this is any indication in where he's going with his style, I am 110% on board. Now, I had never gotten into a ton of Pusha T's material in the past. I watched the Needle Drops review for My Name Is My Name, which came out in 2013. Didn't get around to listening to it until maybe late 2014, and I definitely saw a lot of his points there. There were flaws, and I really like tracks like Numbers on the Board. That's an instrumental that you probably heard if you haven't been hiding under a rock. Even Tyler, the creator, sampled it on one of his tracks. I believe it was Buffalo off of his most recent project, Cherry Bomb, which I like that track. I did, and of course, I love the original song Numbers on the Board, and it's nice to see Pusha T hopping back on some instrumentals that are very unique, produced by the likes of Timbaland, even J. Cole, an artist normally, but producing, uh, co-producing one of these tracks at least, and then some names that are a little bit more obscure, and it's just really, really visceral at times. It's something that you can just feel, you can groove with, especially tracks like Keep Dealing, easily my favorite song on this thing. I love the vibe that it puts out. Pusha T was actually talking about in an interview, I believe it was, saying that he wanted to go for a little bit more cinematic feel on some of these tracks, and it definitely helps. I love the way that this guy brings a story to the table. Now, I don't cover a ton of hip-hop and rap on my channel. You guys know that. I usually mention it at the start of my rap reviews, but this is one guy that I wanted to check out just because I've always thought that he had an interesting angle on things, and I'm definitely seeing why I gave this guy credit in the first place with this new project, Darkest Before Dawn. Now, like I was saying with the storytelling, I think it's something that's improved because he gets back to kind of talking about life and the drug scene, and it's something that he knows very well, and he knows how to really draw the emotion and just the fear and the feeling everything that's going through his mind while he's facing all these either dilemmas or situations with other rappers and other dealers, etc. He knows how to present that and put it into a really interesting track. I mean, some of the verses on this thing are just very lyrically well put together, and that's something that I can't say for a ton of rap albums that I heard in 2015. Some of these tracks really just pack a punch straight to the chest, especially even like the short ones like Crutches, Crosses, Caskets. I love just the punchline on that thing. It rolls around and gets you every single time. The production is a huge key to the success all throughout this record. I'm loving these instrumentals, just how varied they are, but at the same time how they stick to a certain theme. Even though there's a lot of different producers, that can ruin a project a lot of the times if they try to pull it in too many different directions, but I feel like they got it right here for Pusha T. He definitely oversaw things, I believe, and just definitely was very careful about who he worked with, and I'm loving the instrumentals that we're getting on like MPA, Money Pussy Alcohol. It's got a nice keyboard loop in there that's going all throughout, and then like I already talked about, Keep Dealing, easily my favorite here, just because of that cinematic feel that he was talking about. It feels like it could be a movie score from like a French band like Air. It's just very, very soothing, but at the same time, it's dark. It's atmospheric. It's got those pianos that pop up in there, and I just like that there's like a little spark. It's like slow burning, and you feel like something's about to creep up on you, and I love that. Got Him Covered literally has a pop to it as it goes all throughout, and you would think that it would get annoying, but it just never really rubs me the wrong way. It's one of those instrumentals that's very vibrant and a little bit more in your face, but it definitely works for Pusha T here, especially as he's dropping a lot of really solid rhymes on this thing. FIFA is another one that's noteworthy just because it's very upbeat. It's a little bit more aggressive with his lyrical content on this. He's talking about how people are hitting him up for features now, and he doesn't like normally doing features, but it's like now that he's proved himself, now everybody wants him on a track. Let's talk about the guest features here on this record because there are a good handful of them, although some of them are bigger names than others. I think my favorite one had to be Beanie Siegel. That was easily my favorite. It's a very laid back verse, but it gets its point across. It drives it home. And I actually saw an interview with Beanie and you see that he's just a very laid back guy. He was probably 
high whenever he went in to do the interview, but I think that comes across in his music as well. And it's not that he comes across lazy, it's just that he makes himself kind of a unique presence and a very welcomed moment in this record. Now you've also got the likes of bigger names, Kanye West, of course, because Pusha T is now replacing Kanye West as the president of the good music label. Like I was saying, Kanye appears on the track MPA alongside ASAP Rocky and The Dream, and it's easily one of the most fun and laid back, just kind of like a chill vibe going on in the track listing. Really, really solid production work like I was talking about earlier, and it's just nice to see them kind of bouncing ideas and thoughts off of each other. Unfortunately, there are some moments that I'm just not digging on this record, Retribution probably being the main one. It's got some female vocals on the hook. I just feel like it gets very repetitive, kind of a annoying and I'm not a fan of the wavering instrumental on this track. It just doesn't really click with me. I don't think that it flows that well and the verses as a result are unfortunately a little bit more awkward. Uh, FIFA is one that's grown on me. I wasn't a huge fan of that track at first but I'm having some problems with the closing track Sunshine featuring Jill Scott as well. Once again there are aspects that I like it's just that I don't know about the replay factor. It just kind of irks me over time and I feel like the hook kind of throws off the vibe of the song. Timbaland produced the track Untouchable, which flows right out of the track intro, of course, being the first song on this LP. That one took a little bit of time, the intro that is, to really sink in with me, I suppose. It's not something that I really find myself coming back to. It's a little bit different. It's got those weird vocals on it, but of course, he does kind of tear into things, push a T that is, really setting the bar for what's to come on the record. Then we get to Untouchable, and I just don't care for the instrumental here. It's just too loud. It's too noisy. There's too much going on. And as a result, I feel like Pusha T kind of gets pushed out of the spotlight here. The synths are kind of noisy and they keep looping and it feels like they're getting almost louder as the song progresses. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but those are a few problems that I had with the record. Overall though, I can push those aside because there's so many good songs that I think I will be coming back to for months to come, maybe some of them for years to come. What did you guys think about this project? Let me know down below. Overall for this record, I'm going to have to go with a light four on this thing. I was definitely surprised and I hope you guys will check this thing out. If you've heard the latest from King Push, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Maybe while you're there, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel because friends, don't let friends go unsubscribed. Keep in mind, this was all just my opinion, so I definitely look forward to hearing about yours down below. If you're curious, you can check out the last review that I did by clicking right here, or go to another rap review that I did right over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon right here on ARTV.